Hello boys, it's me again. YouTube, how are you all doing? We've got this hat firmly on because our tree, yeah, let's put that back on. But we are back with a match day vlog. I'm actually really excited for this one. It's been a while, man. This season for me in general has had so many ups and downs. Like we were literally out in Spain to start the year. So many things went down. We were forced to come back to the UK and sign for a team mid season. But that's what this channel is all about. Documenting the ups, the downs, my journey. Obviously growing up at Norwich City, signing a pro contract contract there, being released, having two ACL ligament injuries, six bloody surgeries, like why me? See, we need to stop waffling, we're already being dumb, I think it's the match day vibe, but yeah, this channel is all about motivating people, showing people they can still continue working hard, push through adversity, maybe show you bits of how you should be training on the pitch, in the gym. This video is gonna be a sick one. We're gonna have gym strength sessions, we're gonna have pitch technical sessions leading into the match day, and then the full match day experience. But for real, thank you for being here. Drop a like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Lads, gym session done, really good strength session. And we also did like 20 minutes of just spinning our legs through before the session with a foam roll and stretch afterwards. And we are now at our local football pitch. Can't lie, pitch is an absolute disaster. Bloody goal has holes in, literally it has a hole in the top right corner all over the place. And also on the right side, there's a dike. So if you hit a ball top right corner, which we all know your boy Higgsy does quite a lot, then you're actually gonna get punished for it, which I think is just criminal. But in all seriousness, we're down here. I've got some ideas for some TikToks and reels that I wanna record. Also just to get some touches on the ball, a light technical session day before a game. People ask me, can you train the day before a game? A thousand percent you can. You just gotta be wary of, of course, you've got a game the next day. Make sure the volume's not too high. Make sure the intensity's nothing crazy. But yeah, I'm just looking. Weather's actually all right, you know. It's not too sunny right now. But it's not cold either, it's not raining. And just in general, if you have any questions about your own training, about your nutrition, anything that isn't answered in those videos, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll thousand percent get back to you at some point. With that being said though, let's get out there. Let's get some touches on the ball and let's get moving. <laughs> It is raining heavy lads. We've got back, we've showered, we're about to head to the shots because we need to get some chicken. We've ran out and we need our meal prep to be on point for the game tomorrow. So we're gonna quickly head to the shops and the rest of the day is pretty much gonna be spent chilling. I'm gonna be working on some training plans that I've been working on a ton already that I'm gonna be releasing for the off season and pre-season. Gym strength session, plyometric work, leg work, ball technical sessions, fitness sessions, nutrition plans. It's all gonna be included at a crazy, crazy cheap price. And the best thing about it is we're all gonna follow along together. So there'll be a weekly schedule. We'll all have the same schedule. We'll know what we're doing each and every day. I've been working on it for quite some time now, so I'm excited to release it. With that being said though, we're gonna head to the shops. We're gonna get a good night's sleep. Game day tomorrow, I'm gassed for it. I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Yes lads, so we are on the way to the game. Now the breakfast I had this morning was pretty light and this is how I typically will do it on a match day. I'll have a light breakfast because of course there's still a lot of time until the game. Something like scrambled egg on toast, what I had this morning. And we just had a little pit stop at a garage where I got a little Lucozaid protein bar and we got a little monster energy drink just some caffeine to have later on or just before the game we're gonna arrive with loads of time spare which is kind of how i like it i'm excited lads let's get after it let the match day commence it's time boys it is time we've literally just arrived just making sure we've got everything in our bags we're nice and early 30 minutes before the meet time need this our water, boot, shinies. Wish me luck, boys. Yes, lads, so we are gonna jump into the highlights. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is not my best game whatsoever, but I wanna be completely transparent. I'm also gonna be completely honest. Let me pause this for a sec. 
load of the game footage that I downloaded and had on my laptop, I accidentally deleted. And the link that I get sent to watch the games, all the links have expired. So I'm annoyed, but at the same time, you know what? I'm not too bothered because it means I get to be honest and show you one of my worst games. You can see my first touch in the game was cutting in and trying to cross. Uh, not the best end product, but it was really early on. <clears throat> Again, here, I remember this quite well, actually. I was getting urged to run at the defenders. to early on, just in, like, kind of impose myself on the game. And it's just frustrating because it's just so obvious. There's no disguise to what I was going to do. And I feel like I'm better than that. Uh, a lot of the clips are frustrating, I can't lie. But we're going to analyse them. Ball gets set back to me really deep. I'm running at the defence. Johnny makes a nice run outside. I play it. It was kind of a wide pass, but I feel like there wasn't much else to do. He's looking to get a shot off. And I think we get a cross in the end. Actually, no, I actually get a chance from this. You'll see, I get like a half chance that gets blocked. Cut back to me there. Touch, left foot. It was actually a really good touch because obviously with the defender coming across, I needed to touch it to the left. And I could, you could see, like, I knew that that was like a decent chance. I'm on corners. The first one I do take short. Milo scored a lot of goals from this position, so he wasn't actually able to get a yard to shoot there. And it comes back out to me. This looks messy, but let me just talk through my mindset because I'm not too annoyed at myself at this because other than not being as aware as I should have been, I thought that I was going to be completely isolated with this fullback. At this point, I should have checked my shoulder and seen that this centre-back was coming over. I thought he was going to stay in the box to defend potentially a cross. He decides to come over. So the skill I do, in my head, I'm thinking he's the only guy near me. It works like how I wanted it to, but the other centre-backs actually come across. Defended it kind of well, and I just needed to be more aware in that situation, check my shoulders more. This one's annoying as well. Back to the full-back, he's pressing me. Loads of options to set it back to whip, but I'm obviously trying to turn and, again, do something. And you'll see the exact same clip in a second where it actually works, and that's what I'm trying to do. In that instance, it didn't. Here I've checked my shoulder, I saw our striker in a good area and the ball was bouncing for me so I play it into him, he chests it down, great pass from Rico through and ties too quick and clinical, nice goal that puts us 1-0 up. I think this is the exact same situation I was on about, back to defender, he's coming in tight, I can feel him so I can see, I can feel where his momentum is and at this point I just turn him, just get in front of him, play a 1-2, the clip starts off so well. And then it just goes so bad. I just lose the ball. There were so many different options. I want to just analyse this real quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it, man. I get the ball like here and I need to play it early into that space for that run. You know when your confidence isn't high with your decision making, like you might be losing the ball or making bad decisions. When you're feeling that way and then someone's screaming for the ball, it's kind of like... Because you're not confident in your own choice or your own final decision, you just give that person the ball, even though it might not be the best option. And in the end, just the pass in general wasn't good. That's definitely what happened here. I should have played it early into the space or just ran at that centre back, one v one. I hate those. I hate that feeling, bro. You know, after you know, like you could have done so much better. This is one of their goals. Nice combination play. Lad cuts in and clinical finish. That makes it one all. The team we played is actually a really good team. They went on a crazy FA Cup run, beat some real big clubs. Apparently they're full-time as well, some proper ball players. Again, I'm getting the ball back to goal, looking to cut inside and combine. I can't lie, Like I think this part of the season was when we started to lose more games and our confidence in general wasn't the best. And you can just see as a winger the positions I'm getting the ball. Like I'm rarely getting the ball 1v1, my back's to the goal. This is one of my chances actually gets blocked and then I just trap back, stop their counter. But I'm I'm getting the ball back to goal really deep and it is frustrating as a winger because obviously you want the ball in 1v1 positions because it makes you look so good. And early on in the season, you've probably seen some of the highlights where in those positions I was making a lot happen. But I've also looked at myself and been like, in games like this or when I'm not getting the ball in the perfect positions I need to learn to create my own space and still look, be able to have an impact on the game even when I'm not getting the ball in those perfect positions you can see here just I'm getting it so deep 
I'm looking to drive, combine and get myself up the pitch. The thing is, I, I talk about getting the ball 1v1 one v, one v one just then, but right here, this is why it's so frustrating. I've ran the entire length of the pitch to get finally in a good position. And I just feel like I just don't really do anything. I don't know whether my legs were gone or what. I keep the ball, yes, but I was literally waiting for a 1v1 like that. And I don't think I get many others in this game. Again, get the ball kind of deep, looking to drive, cut in and combine. Johnny makes a run. I maybe could have played Johnny, you know, but I keep the ball. I think we get a cross from it. No, he nearly gets there as well. Decent play, to be fair. And again, me on the corners. Let's see what we can do. We whip it in. Oh, that's close to being like one of the, a perfect corner. It just doesn't beat the first man. We win another corner, though. So what we can do here. I'm obviously going to put a bit more on it. Good area. Our centre-back nearly gets there. And I think they switch it out to me again. But it doesn't quite reach. And then I'm just battling to try and win the ball back. Yeah. Okay, here, ball gets clipped long. So I'm going to pause it real quick. You just basically saw what happened, but let's take it back. So I actually play, I've actually played quite a lot as like a striker, a second striker. Uh, so I feel like my hold-up play is actually pretty good. I'm quite strong, and it's something that I definitely like should have done better in this situation. I was actually excited to get a chance to show that I can hold the ball up. But again, like this fullback was actually a pretty good fullback in this league, like... No jokes aside, he actually was a pretty decent. He's fast, he was smart, uh, athletic, and he actually gets his body in quite well. And you can see we're kind of tangled up. I'm kind of in front of him, he's kind of in front of me. And in the end, I do enough to not give him a free header, but we're just off picking up the seconds. But it definitely could have done a bit better there. Here drops to me, I'm looking to touch inside and shoot, but he actually defends that well again. A lot of fullbacks will commit themselves there and I'd get a free shot, but he... He covered that space really well. And then we keep the ball. Again, here, look, these are the positions I was getting the ball quite a lot of the time. Now, obviously, some of you will probably be saying, like, why don't you come into that space? Obviously, as the game's building up, I'm, of course, running off the fullback to try and get into the space. But he was incredibly tight. And, of course, because we haven't got, like, super good possession of the ball and we're still kind of deep, uh, it's harder to get in those areas. Again, it's not an excuse. I definitely could have probably looked in this situation to maybe made a quick movement and get more space. Here, I'm looking to turn potentially, but the space closes off. So in the end, I win a free kick. And I think the next clip is exactly the same pretty much where you can see here, look how deep we are. I'm dropping in so deep. And at this point, I'm running towards the ball. So there's not really an opportunity to turn. The only thing I could have done here is potentially touched this way, which I've definitely got that in the locker, but it's obviously risky when we're this deep. So in the end, I think I just keep the ball. And I think there's one more clip. It's literally the exact same as well, I think. Okay, here I get the ball. He comes out tight. Again, just look how deep I am. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd love to get the ball re like in, our, in their final third in positions like that, where I can run at the defender. But in the end, we set it back, and I think that is the highlights so again lads not my best game i'm so annoyed that i've deleted accidentally loads of the footage and i don't know if i'm going to be able to get my hands on the matches because the links to the vo have expired but with that being said not a bad game not my best really frustrating game to be honest but lots to improve on comment down below any constructive criticism i honestly can take it uh, but yeah, thank you for watching the video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.